Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about AWS support plan. So we have discussed that AWS, uh, AWS is a cloud computing uh, services provider and when we subscribe for uh, we start using services from AWS cloud services and so we often may face some problems or some challenges and in this case we need some kind of support or we need some kind of help. So in this case, AWS has different ways to support us and to support their clients. And uh, the AWS has a different uh, support plans and those support plans provide us access to tools and expert advices to help us troubleshoot our issues in cloud, uh, to lower the costs of the resources which we are using, to optimize the performance and maybe to manage risks in our cloud so these are some of the things which we can get help uh, with the help of using these different support plans so these are different support plans uh, the basic support plan developer business support plan enterprise on ramp and finally the enterprise support plan so now we'll be discussing uh, about these all support plans and these support plans are not for all so depending on our use depending on our workload on in the cloud we can choose for different support plan and uh, out of these only basic support plan is for free but for rest of the, all the support plans we need to pay and i'll show you the the uh, i mean their fees on their official page so the very first is the basic support plan and this as i mentioned this is offered for free and this basic support plan is included for all aws customers so that is for free and that's for all and what is included here in this basic support plan is that we have access to customer service and we have access to aws documentation so documentations are very much important that we can get some help so i'll show you that where we have the documentation so this documentation is actually here on this link i'll show you in a, in a minute and then we also have access to white papers and we also have access to support communities we have access to this is repos.aws and then we also have access as a, as a basic support plan we have access to aws trusted advisor checks so let me show you that what trusted advisor is so with the help of those checks we can actually get the guidance and to achieve better performance so first let me maybe show you these all pages which i have opened in in the tab you can see here we have the aws documentation which provides fine technical documentation for AB, aws services software development kit toolkits use cases scenarios and those so these documentation you can see these Will help us to further explore about the services offered by AWS and then you can see also we have these uh, AWS white papers so expand your knowledge of the cloud with AWS technical content authored by AWS and AWS community so here we have the uh, white papers we have access to and then we also have access to this uh, this community and here you can uh, you can find answer reuse best practice join a group so this is also rich uh, sources of uh, learning and also get some help and then you can see there are some different popular topics we can be posting our questions maybe we can get answers for our problem and this is the trusted advisor which i wanted to show you so trusted advisor is there to reduce cost to improve performance improve security and you can see here aws trusted advisor provides recommendation that help you follow aws best practices best practices means the steps which others have taken and then uh, those steps have actually uh, introduced kind of success in other organizations and those uh, recommendation or those practices will also be given to you as recommendation from this aws trusted advisor so what it does it actually evaluates your account by using checks and these checks identify ways to improve or optimize your aws infrastructure improve security and performance reduce cost and monitor service quotas so you can see this is but with the basic support plan we will not have all these checks we will have some of the checks which we will have access to so in addition to aws trusted advisor checks we also have access to aws personal health dashboard so this dashboard Board will give us a graphical user interface as we can see the information about health of AWS services and if they have there is any disruption in, in the AWS services then we can 
find out we can have some alert messages in this AWS personal health dashboard and we can also uh, have a service of billing questions for example in some of the months if you are over billed then maybe we can ask questions them so this is also one of the services which is for free for the basic support plan and then also service limit increase so for some of the services there is a limit uh, how many we can deploy so if you want to increase that then we can also ask for their increase so that is service limit increase and this is also a service which is also offered for free and that's part of basic support plan and these are some official symbols for trusted advisor in aws personal health dashboard And what I'm discussing that all is available here on their official website there on the, I have sh shown the link and I'll also be putting this link in the description section for further detail and here on this tab you can see this is maybe service health that's not the ex exact one which you can see from your account I don't have account at the moment but you can see AWS health dashboard maybe you can have view the current and historical status of all AWS services so that is the uh, glimpse of AWS health dashboard and the second support plan is developer support plan and this is recommended for experimenting or testing in AWS and this developer support plans includes all which is included in basic support plan and in addition to those it means whatever we discussed before those all uh, services are part or support services are part of this developer support plan and in addition to that we also have access a business hour access web access to cloud support associate via email so let's say here there are some cloud support associates from from aws so we can contact them by e by email if you have some problems and then we have unlimited cases but one primary contact so cases means we can raise some questions about our problems and then we can get the solution from some, some suggestions from the from them and for that we can only use one primary contact so we'll be getting one uh, those solution on one email and then they can respond us to our queries depending on our, on the severity level and for severity level we will have different response time it says that for our queries which is for general guidance then we can get we get back or we'll get a response back within or less than 24 hours and if we have something like system impaired kind of problems, then we'll be getting response in less than 12 hours. And for the details, it all is on their page, which I'll show you in a moment. And then it, this developer support plan also includes general cloud architecture support. So in cloud architecture, how we are going to deploy our resources. And for that, we will also get some general uh, guidelines. Then we have business support. And this business support is uh, actually provides all AWS trust advisor checks for best practices. Uh, so I think I missed here, but you will have all uh, checks there as well. And now uh, this there we have limited support for third party software. So business support, if you have uh, if you have subscribed for business support, then if we are deploying, if you're using, let's say, Microsoft Windows in, in cloud, AWS cloud, and if you want, want some help regarding Windows, then we can get some limited support on those kind of third-party softwares as well. And the important thing is that with business support plan, we can make a direct phone calls, email chat to cloud support engineers. Let's say she's cloud support engineer, and if we are subscribed for this support plan, then we can maybe directly contact her regarding our problems. And then we can have unlimited cases and unlimited contacts. So we can raise questions or we can discuss different problems with them. So we can maybe, I mean, open different cases, right? unlimited cases with unlimited contacts. Contacts mean we can use uh, multiple emails, let's say. And how will be, what will be the time for, for response of a case or case severity so as per case severity response time varies so for general guidance we'll be having a response in less than 24 hours but if system is impaired then we will be getting response in less than 12 hours 
but if production system impaired so this actually uh, this case this is recommended for production system where we are deploying some production system and if the production system is impaired then we'll be getting response in less than four hours but if the production system is down then you can see we'll get response in less than one hour and this also includes cloud architecture support contextual to your use cases so on the basis of our use case we can get some guidelines on cloud architecture and then we have enterprise on ramp support and this is uh, used for production maybe uh, business critical workloads in aws so if we are like this then we are recommended to have such kind of support and with this support we will have all the support which we have previously discussed in addition to that we will have all aws trusted advisor checks to monitor cost and performance and health API dashboard. The trusted advisor, like they are giving us some guidelines on the basis of some best practices we can follow. If we follow them, then maybe we can reduce cost, we can improve performance. So all the ch checks available on AWS trusted advisor will be accessible to us if we have this support plan. In addition to that, we will have access to a pool of technical account manager, TAM. So, there's those stem technical account manager let's say these things all are technical account managers and they can provide us proactive guidance and coordinate access to programs and aws experts so it means we have tam technical account manager we can access them and then those technical account manager can further take guidance from solution architect account manager subject matter experts and cloud support engineers so let's say if they feel like they need help from somewhere else then also this will be provided by these all guys they can consult with them as well and then we also can have a concierge support uh, so concierge support team for billing and account assistance is very much helpful and we can have access to them if we have this enterprise on ramp support. and response time so this depends on case severity and for the general guidance this is less than 24 hours as is the case with all other support plans and then we have system impaired that is less than 12 hours but the production system impaired we have less than four hours product system down then we have less than one hour but if we have business critical system down then we will be getting response in less than 30 minutes and then we can also have unlimited cases and unlimited contacts and this also provides us consultative review and guidance based on our application we are going to deploy in in cloud and the last support plan is enterprise support plan and this is recommended for businesses and for mission critical workloads in aws so this support plan will have all the things which we have discussed um, in previous slides in addition to that we can have a designated technical account manager tem so designated technical account manager will be there for us to proactively monitor our environment and assist us with optimization and coordinate access to programs and other AWS experts and a concierge a support team for billing and account assistance is also provided with this uh, support plan and then we can also have tools to monitor cost and performance through trusted advisor so again we have that access to trusted advisor and health API dashboard so you remember the trusted advisor is very much helpful to give us best practices for security check and improve performance and regarding risk response time so this is same for system impaired for production system hours but you can see here for business or mission critical system if the system is down then we'll be getting response in less than 15 minutes and we will have access to designated time technical account manager and we also have unlimited cases and unlimited contact with this uh, support and then we can also have uh, this uh, consulted review and guidance based on our application in the cloud so that means a specific guidance can be provided to us if we have enterprise support and finally this is the uh, uh, web link which i'll share with you in the description section from where you can find further details about these all support plans and you can see here they have that the developer business and enterprise on ramp enterprise uh, support plan and for what cases they are they are recommended for and this is something i have gone through briefly but i haven't shown you the price so this may change with time so you can refer to this link and then you can see here this is the price for developer plan you can see greater of 29 per month and then also there is condition if there's three percent of monthly aws usage so whatever is greater you'll be 
you have to pay for that so you can see this one so this is for developer plan and this is for business plan you can see the price and for enterprise on ramp this is the price and you can see for enterprise support plan that price is greater than of maybe 15,000 or these may condition whatever is greater so you can get an idea that from developer is uh, the cheapest one and the enterprise is the expensive one and the basic support plan is for free in addition to that for further detail i'll be putting this uh, link in the description section you are welcome to explore it further uh, so thank you thank you i think this was uh, today we discussed some of the support plans like uh, basic and developer business enterprise on ramp and enterprise support plans hopefully this might be helpful for some of you and thank you hope to see you in some other video